Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful poncho. I was watching the TV and one of the TV hosts was wearing a cape like this one. She wore it in black. Her name is Annette. She's a very star from Mexico and I decided to make it for you. I decided to inspire by this beautiful design so I created this poncho. Here I will give you the step by step, so please stay tuned till the end. Well, for this poncho we are going to need 400 grams of this material that it's between light and medium. I will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters. We are going to start making this poncho by the neck and we are going to make first 120 chains. We are going to make them a little bit loose, so we want thread and with our hook. Well, at the end of the 120 chains, we are going to slip one to close. First, and most important that I didn't tell you, we have to check that the strip of chains is not twist, okay? Then we are going to slip one to close, and now we are going to make a row of half double crochet. We are going to make one in each stitch, taking both parts of the chain, like this. Well, at the end of this row, we are going to make a long strip of chains right here where we have the joint. We are going to make this strip of chains that goes and covers the long of the poncho that we want. In my case, I made 126 chains. So once we start with this stitch, the measure will change a little bit, but just for you to have as a reference, here before we start with the rest of this stitch, approximately it measure 60 centimeters, okay? Well, right here, to go up, we are going to make one chain. Let me take the stitch. So one chain to go up and then we are going to start making half double crochet. We are going to make nine. The half double crochet it's you yarn over before you insert the hook in the stitch. So here we have two, three, then four, five, six, Seven, eight, and nine. Okay, nine have double crochet without counting the first chain that we made. Remember? So, well, now we are going to make 17 chains. So, here we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 17 okay and we are going to lift them as the base then we are going to skip also 17 spaces okay so we are going to count all the chains like this until we count 17 and in the 17 we are going to insert the hook so right here and like this we are going to continue the whole row. Now we are again, we are going to make the segment of 9 half double crochet, then again 17 chains. And like this we will continue following this sequence. Well, we are going to make, remember, 9 half double crochet, 16 chains, 9 9 half double crochet, and at the end, well, we will finish with 13 chains. Then we are going to slip one to close here to finish the row, and then we are going to slip one more to start with the next row. Now turn around, and now look, we are going to um, do the opposite, okay? Now here we have the chains. We are going to make the segment of 9 half double crochet and then we are going to make the uh, 17 chains right here. Then again 
where we have the chains, we are going to make the segment of nine half double crochet. I will show you how. So here we are going to make nine half double crochet. So here so far we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Well, then we will leave this here in cold to complete the 17 chains. And uh, remember that just before the neck we are going to make 13 chains, but always will be between segments 17 chains. So like this we are going to continue making 17 chains and then the segments of 9 half double crochet. And just like we left 4 stitches right here, we are going to skip 4 here and in the 5th we are going to start with the segment of 5, sorry, of the segment of 9 half double crochet. So in the 5th we will insert the hook and from there we will start counting. So here we have 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Then we are going to make 17 chains. So again here at the end of the segment we are going to have 4 chains left. Then again 17 chains and again we are going to make the segment of 9 half double crochet. Just remember at the end we are going to have uh, 13 chains of the, instead of uh, 17 but it's totally okay just at the end. So let's continue like this the whole row. Here we are about to continue remember we are try to not twist and to continue straight. So see you at the end of this row. Well here I decided to stop right here because I told you that in the neck but also at the end of the row we are going to finish with only 13 chains. So here we are going to make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 like we had at the beginning, remember? So we will go up with one chain more and then we are going to sleep one like this or oh no here I am sorry we are going to take this stitch out right away here we are going to start with this segment of nine half double crochet so here we have one two then three four five six seven eight and nine and then they will continue as you could see here we are going to left four chains and then we are going to make 16 chains and again the segment of 9 half double crochet and also we are going to alternate the spaces in this rows in this row sorry and basically it so here remember we are going to skip four and in the fifth we are going to continue well like this we are going to continue making more rows until we get the white of our front Okay, because remember that later we are going to divide to leave the space 
for the arms. We'll go so far, we are going to continue like this, following the instructions. As you could see, this stitch is very opened, so it's perfect for this coming spring and summer too. I love how it looks, and also for the winter, you can use it with a turtleneck under, and we will be an amazing uh, accessory, right? And well, for the edge, we will have this uh, ending and here in the neck we are going to finish with 13 chains and came back with 9 half double crochet again we will finish with 13 chains and came back and uh, came back with 9 half double crochet and we will go in order we will finish and then we are going to slip one to start in the next stitch and well here in the bottom we are going to finish with 13 chains then we will come back with 9 half double crochet and then we are going to make 17 chains then 9 half double crochet and like this is how we are going to continue until we get the white of the front well so far we have something like this beautiful I love how it, the stitch is looking so look we are if we count the rows we have one here then second one here then three and to me it's like difficult right why we don't better count the series remember that these two rows are one series so here we have one series then two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen okay so this will be the front and to me it's perfect is enough so now we are going to leave the hole in this size for the armhole and in the other side at the same distance we are going to make the same okay so here in the neck as you could see we went in order we continue one stitch next to it and we will have something like this and in the bottom we have this ending and what I will do now it's that here I will start the next row and more or less here in this distance I will stop and I will divide and then I will continue but I will make it with you well look I started 9 half double crochet 17 9 and 17 and look here I did this small trick I put an extra thread I make a knot and from here where we stood I made 60 chains as a base and then when I came back with the stitch that I have before I came back and I continue with the stitch for now with this extra uh, thread that I have here I only use it to make the 60 chains and then I will cut it and then uh, here as I told you I continue with the same stitch and I have double crochet then 17 chains and in the 18th chain I started with the next segment of 9 half double crochet and 17 chains and I finish with 8 here I will finish only with 8 half double crochet and from here I did continue making 13 chains and then I came back with 9 half double crochet and then 17 chains and I follow the instructions and from here I will continue and well here we are going to make a review remember that what we are making here we are going to make it in the other side too right so remember I put 17 no 60 chains as a base with an extra thread and then I did continue with the same thread that I was using with the stitch okay so here in the bottom we are going to finish with 13 chains and then we are going to come back with the nine and a half double crochet as I told you here I use this extra thread just to make the 60 chains that we need as a base remember that this is the hole for the arm so I will just leave it like that remember that later we are going to hide it with the embroidery needle so basically we are going to repeat the same in the other side too okay in over the 60 chains that we made we are going to continue making this stitch then here I made 13 uh, extra chains and I came back with this stitch like this we are going to continue making more series until we complete the circle 
that we have in the neck until we arrive here. Okay, so here it's how it looks. I continue, as you could see here, I complete all the circle of the neck. Here where is the marker is where I open to make the sleeves. Remember that we make this together. And in the other side, right here, and well, I realized that here in the other side, where we were supposed to repeat the same instructions, I realized that here, while we make the stitch, we can uh, join just some parts of the stitch and then just leave the hole for the sleeve and it will be the same. So that's what we are going to make. Here I made it, but I will repeat it again so you can see how I make it. So don't worry, and I won't repeat the instructions that I taught you to make in the other sleeve. I will show you how. So then I will repeat what I made. Okay, so remember, uh, this is where we finish, where we finish the last row and we are about to make the real red last one okay so we are going to repeat the stitch so what we are going to make while we make the last row it's that we are going to join so here first we are going to make remember that the chains that we are using now it's the chain of the first row so this is where we are going to make the nine half double crochet. At the beginning, we are only going to make one, I, I mean three. We will count three and in the third, we will insert the hook in the other side of the row. We are going to slip one and then we are going to come back and complete the next three half double crochet. So with the last three and with this three, we have six out of the nine that we are going to make after this three half double crochet we will count three and right here we are going to slip one and then we are going to make the next three half double crochet so here we have three okay then we are going to came back we will count three and in the third stitch we are going to slip one so this is how we joined the first segment you see so you don't see where is the joint then and well according to the stitch here we are going to make 16 chains okay so we will go in order if you want you can put some markers to point it out exactly where you are going to join Okay, so here we are going to make 17 chains and then we are going to fix it, we are going to count 1, 2, 3 and 4, we are going to make the first half double crochet and then we are going to a join. Just let me fix this. Okay, we are going to match one side with the other. And rem remember that according to the uh, instructions, we have to skip four. And in the fifth, right like here, taking both parts of the chain, we are going to insert the hook. So here we are going to make the three half double crochet out of the nine, because remember that each three segments we are going to join. We are going to insert the hook in the other side. We will skip three and right there we are going to come back to the other side to complete the stitch so here we are going to make the next segment of three half double crochet then we will count one two three and right here in the third we will insert the hook and we are going to come back to complete the next three segments of half double crochet and with this last three we will have the nine half double crochet then one 
two and three we will insert the hook and we are going to a slip one and like this is how we are going to join and well just to follow remember that we are going to leave the same distance that we leave in the other side for the slip so here we are just going to complete we are going to make the 16 chains and then we are going to count let me finish the 16 chains no 17 17 chains i'm sorry three four five and right here in the fifth we are going to make a half double crochet and then we are going to count in the other side five one two three four and five and we will insert the hook and we are going to slip one to close then from here we are going to and well with this we finish we are going to check that we have the same stitches in one side and in the other the same distance and everything so now that we are sure we are going to cut this thread and we are going to hide all the threads that we may have using the embroidery needle and yes we are going to iron this a uh, project using some pins please extend it and very soft and gently we are going to pass the uh, iron and we will tell and you will tell the difference and it will look so much better now let's see how it looks well i hope that you all enjoy making this beautiful poncho with me i hope that you all use this technique for any other project use your imagination and your creativity i want to invite all of you to do that but well before you go i want to invite all of you to subscribe remember that my channel is completely free that activate the notification bell and of course to give me a like and if you want please share this video if you like it thank you so much for watching till the end of the video please stay tuned for more coming projects take care and see you soon bye bye